got good running stats, all that stuff, ball carry vision, all this stuff. Some of it doesn't really matter, some of it does. And deeper running, change of direction, change of direction, good. Once again, always running out of trouble. So, good. Juke move, good. Jumping. Yes, 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 all this stuff. All this fun stuff. And then, so, we have speed and change of direction for two reasons. One, always running away from trouble, and two, it's always run to a different girl. It changes directions very quickly. So yeah, so we did that. He was the one that was watching over Juliet for Romeo. So, in the middle linebacker, and Juliet, you'll see this later, she's the quarterback. The middle linebacker always watches over the quarterback. So that's a little football knowledge right there. Which I should probably use proper grammar. This is English class, but oopsies. So he's got all this stuff. Acceleration, agility, awareness. Actually, no, his awareness is terrible. Because he left. So we made him a center because, well, like he's the head of the family and... You know, he's watching over everybody. And the center's one of the big, biggest protection things. So, pretty aware of what's going on. He does weigh 400 pounds in the game, so all this stuff's kind of bad. But, yeah, all this stuff. There's nothing really to go off of in here, but... Here, we'll find something... Speed's terrible because he. I don't, know, I don't really know why it's terrible. He's just big. Okay. Strength and toughness. So we'll say we'll say toughness because he was strong and tough enough to handle one his wife dying and then his son son dying. So that's what we got for wide him. receiver. I know wide receiver. You may ask. Good question. I do not have a good answer, but. I can say that I put him on the opposite side of the ball. It's Tibble. So him and Tibble can go at it a little bit. We'll send him right towards it. And we shall see if that goes how it did in the movie or if it will not. Probably will not because it's going to be kind of awful playing this game. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got... His, we'll sign his speed. Where's his speed at? Speed's down here. Speed. Notice. You'll see later. His speed is not as good as Tibble. Because he's not faster than Tibble. If he was, he wouldn't have died. What a bum. And stamina. Yeah, you kind of get the point. Actually, we'll bump stamina down. Because he dies. Runs out of breath very very quickly it's kind of unrealistic but he did take a stab and keep talking he stabbed by a sword so we'll, we'll keep its toughness up here okay the fryer let's see how his ratings are looking over here okay let's get into it his awareness definitely bumping his awareness down more he was completely oblivious to everything that was going on. It's kind of sad. But that's okay. Um, catching during injuries. Um, his speed and pursuit you may think it's just bad because he's old. That's where you'd be semi right, semi wrong, my friend. Because if he's just a little bit faster, maybe if he had 99 speed, he'd have been able to get Romeo before he killed himself. They would have lived happily ever after. But no. No, he's not. It's not at all. Not how it happened. That's why he has 85 speed, 84 pursuit. Who cares? Slash Capulet. Yes. Okay. Starting off, Levanta Tibble. Yes, yes, yes. 
Not with the first name. Once again. Okay. Let's keep this going. Keep this going. He's got pretty good stats. He's a pretty good player. So acceleration, agility, awareness. He is kind of stupid. He ran himself to his death. Instead of just fighting Romeo. There. Could be missing something, but... Seems kind of dumb to me. But I'll give it to him. He has good running stuff and agility, acceleration, because he did get away from Romeo. For a while, at least. So, once again, go hit power. Crank it all the way up to 99, because he killed Tybalt. Or not Tybalt, he is Tybalt. He killed Mercutio. Sorry. Brain fart. Killed Mercutio. And have to hit pretty hard to kill somebody. You know he stabbed him? It's not the point. Man coverage. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Because obviously he was dead, but he did not keep very good tabs on Juliet. And he was like his swarm weird cousin kissing cousin thing. I don't know. I feel like he had a thing for it, but that might just be me. Not sure. Okay, I don't think any of this stuff really. Okay, well, speed, obviously. Speed, 98. Because Romeo's 90. Actually, no, 99. Because Romeo's is 98. So, Romeo couldn't catch him. Yes. Makes sense. Trust me. Okay, none of this stuff really matters. Are seven feet tall and 250 pounds with massive pads, so you'll definitely be able to spot them. Except Juliet's didn't save. Is okay. That's what the players look like with their name on the back. Okay, ratings. Acceleration, agility. Yes, all this stuff is fun. Okay. I don't think any of this really matters. Speed. 99 speed. Kind of just because why not? And because she was trying to run away from her family. She would have succeeded. But things went terribly, terribly wrong. As we know. And her stats are really pretty good. Really are. Toughness. I, I did make her 99 toughness because she stabbed herself in the chest. And that is ballsy. Very ballsy. Do not think I'd be able to do that. But you know what? Props to you, nurse. We have her at tight end. Because one, she's just protecting Juliet. And she's the one that Juliet is just like Juliet's right hand man. Basically, kind of. And if you know anything about the Buccaneers, Rob Gronkowski, who is the tight end, is Tom Brady's right hand man it's kind of a little correlation to the real life peoples right there okay acceleration agility all this is absolutely awful and awareness also bad it's off to a terrible start for you nurse I'm sorry this is because earlier in the play when Romeo and Juliet first mingled we'll say she was the one that delivered the message and or got the message from Romeo to give to Juliet and it took her like 20 million years to get back to her so she's not fast and she's unaware completely oblivious to everything that was going on pretty sad okay None of this really matters, I don't I don't think. Speed, once again, terrible. Terrible speed. And stamina. I think we're at like fifty stamina because that's she's just actually we could be like sixty. Sixty seventy. Seventy, so she'll actually be able to play. Um, yeah. Not, not, not the most um, athletic of people. 
no idea where I was going with that, honestly. We have Lord Capulet, which is pretty safety. Because he pretty much just watches over everybody. And, yeah. Silver, yeah. I, I, yeah, that. So, awareness. He's semi-decent awareness. Not really, though. Because he did not realize anything that was going on when Juliet was going behind his back. Doing a whole bunch of other stuff with Romeo. All of this stuff. Okay, catching track. Catching, change of direction. Hit power, 99 hit power. This is like kind of words. Like when he was talking to Juliet, his words were hitting hard, really hard. It was very scary. I almost thought he was going to hit her. Which is very, 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 very mad at. Okay. Man coverage. 99. Because he was... And press. Press. Because he was all up in for real. And screaming at her and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff. A little intimidating. Very intimidating, actually. So, yeah. That's why... He has good coverage skills. Recognition, pretty bad. Because he didn't recognize the situation. Situation. Toughness, he is pretty tough. His daughter did die. And that's, that's kind of... That sucks. That does definitely suck. I think this is the last one. Count Paris. Oh, Paris, Paris, Paris. I put him at cornerback because... The cornerback... When he tries to stand up to Romeo, he will have absolutely no chance. And Romeo will just wreck him. Yes, yes. Catching. Hit power. Bad because he's not very good. He didn't, he didn't hit Romeo. He's terrible. Recognition. He would have recognized what was going on. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We have... Zone coverage. Bad zone coverage. Why is it good? No, bad zone coverage. Because he, he thought Juliet was going to be his wife. And he did not keep very good tabs on her for somebody who was planning on marrying. Okay, here we go. Let us get started. Okay, Friar Lawrence, the opening kick. Montagues, kick off the Capulets. See if the Capulets can do with their opening drive. Wow, that kick return was something interesting. Say that. Okay. Juliet, bring any offense on the field. Let's see, let's see. Will they get off to a quick lead? Or will they not? Ooh, Juliet. Yeah, throw that away. Oh my. Montagues, slick, bring it pressure early. Alright, oh my, Juliet not seeming to be on her game right now. Holy, Let's see if we can get a little bit of rhythm going. Or maybe not. You know what? Big. Oh my. Capulets with the sack. Oh, ooh. got some hurry up going right here. See how this is gonna see how this is gonna pan out. Let's 
rejected. Tybalt not wanting any of that business up in here. Alrighty. Let's see what they got going here. Ooh, it's a quick blitz. Oh my, the Capulets. The Capulets are going to take the ball. Holy crap. Oh my. We did not see that coming now, folks. We did not see that coming. And a big catch. Big catch. Capulets are knocking on the door. What's the flag? Pass interference defense. Oh my. Capulets are going to decline that one, obviously. We'll see. See how this pans out. Juliet, going to roll out. And a crossbody throw. That is crazy. Holy crap. There's no way the Montagues are happy about that. Capulet's jumping out to an early, not really early, but first quarter lead. And the Montagues are going to want to bump back from that. Romeo. Okay. We got one deep safety for the Capulets. And they send everybody. Oh my god, what were they thinking? And Romeo is going to strut into the end zone. He is not even thinking about that last for about that first touchdown anymore. It's like how he wasn't thinking about what's her name? He wasn't thinking about what's her face. Exactly. Forgot about her. Was even thinking about what's her face when Juliet came into the picture. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Capulets. Oh, and the nurse. Big catch by the nurse. They're going to hope to do that again. You know they are. Maybe a slight audible. And the nurse. Not being denied right now. Not very big yards at a time. You know what? More power to you, nurse. More power to you. Oh. Controller's shaking on that one. Okay. Got a third in inches. So they'll handle this. They could just hand it off right up the middle. And yes, that is exactly what they will do. Okay. Oh, flag. Flag on the play. Pass interference on the defense. It's going to be accepted. Alrighty. Let's see what we got going on. And the nurse coming in big again. She just will not be denied right now. And that'll take us to the second quarter. Okay. Neck and neck. 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's see. And the nurse, once again. There is, oh my. You know what they say. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, but a holding. 
holding penalty that is just awful for these Capulets these Capulets have a drive going now they have first and goal from the 18 and the nurse guess who's gonna get him there guess who maybe one guess that's right it's the nurse I should never would have guessed that okay see what they do to punch it in ooh inaccurate pass Let's see here. Fourth and goal from the seven. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They're gonna go for it. Wow. Big call. Big call. By these cap or Oh, but they sent everybody and it does not pay off because guess what? Guess who? Oh yeah, it's the nurse. The nurse is coming in clutch for the Capulets right now. Gotta put them up 13 to 7. 14 to 7 after this extra point. Pending they don't miss, and they won't. Okay. Slow and steady. We can show. Oh, fumble. Oh, my goodness. This is a scuffed play right here. Scuffed play right here, folks. Yeah, not gonna lie. Got pretty confused right there by the whole two controller thing. So, that's what happened. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness, a big hit. And don't look at the screen. Rikishi is dead. Yeah. Tibble knocked him out cold. I know it didn't really look like it right there. Laid by Tibble. Trust me on this one. And I have a feeling Romeo not too happy about that one. And there he is. The man himself okay well let's see Paris trying to get on the uh, get on the get in on the action a little bit. Pardon my English. It's a little late right now. Okay. Let's see what we got. You know, I think Romeo is looking for revenge and he does not get it. You know, Tibble's looking for a fight. And Romeo 
he is looking to give it to him. And guess what? He's gonna get it eventually. Because... Oh, and he trucks him over. That is t Oh my, Romeo killed Tybalt. Both figuratively and non-figuratively. As a matter of fact. And that's going to be the end for poor Tybalt. Okay. See how they're going to react to this. Oh. Romeo is running for his life right now. Yeah. See what they got brewed up here. And Romeo, so close on that one. But so close, but yet so far. Mm mm mm. Okay, well. Tibble's back, but we all know he's dead. And that's not happening. Romeo just seems to have vanished from this game. Hmm. Capulets. Must be kinda happy with how they're doing right now, but we take it into half. really with the opposite actually how the offense has not been clicking okay well Let's see how this goes Let's see if the Montagues can bring it back I don't know find out Ooh they big pass by the Montagues their offense has been pretty hot pretty hot going into half pretty hot coming out of it let's see See what they can do. And here we go. Heating up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, and will this get him back into the game? Not quite. Oh my. Holy. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This Monty offense is just not clicking right now. to use put making this a game hmm send Friar Lawrence out there kick the extra point see how it works alright see how this is gonna pan out 
So yeah. Oh my, Juliet hit hard, and it appears she's not gonna be getting up after that one. All right. We'll see how this pans out. Quarterback Juliet in the game, but linebacker Volio not in the game. Let's see what. Okay, well there he is. But right now he's having words with Romeo. Okay, after a long drive, Montague's getting the ball back, Juliet still not moved since that big hit, and it appears the defense is coming off the field, Minvolio is having some words with Romeo, star running back. Let's see if we can maybe find out what those words were about. And Romeo dropping a ball. It's a little unlike him. Let's see what they have in store for us now. Okay, Montague's on their own 41. Oh, and Romeo diving off, giving okay. him a fourth and three. This could be it right here, folks. We will see. Now, oh. oh my God, what is she doing? Oh, she gives herself up, just as we saw Romeo do moments ago. How bizarre. We will be going into overtime, folks. Okay. Okay, and the coin flip is off. And the Capulets will be receiving the ball. Let's see how this will pan out. Okay, we know the rules. First team who gets the ball scores. Okay, third and 13, they will run the ball. Oh, but it will work in Romeo. Not Romeo, take it back. I'm stupid. Easily just chew the clock okay. from here. Kick a field goal to win the game. Will they? 
I don't know. Well, they were, they, they will are. kick the field goal. But Fryer misses it as the time runs out. Fryer choked the whole thing. <laughs> 